हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू ओनली वी एम वे डॉट कॉम वी आर इन द मिडल ऑफ अ वीडियो सीरीज दैट इज बिल्डिंग वी एम वे लैब ऑन वी एम वे वर्क स्टेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वॉट वी आर गोन डू वी विल क्रिएट अ क्लोन ऑफ द ओ एस टेम्पलेट वी एम वी क्रिएटेड इन द सेकेंड वीडियो एंड देन वी विल सेट अप दोस्ट नेम सेटिंग द आई पी एड्रेसेज देन वी विल इंस्टॉल डी एन एस डी एस सी पी एंड एक्टिव डायरेक्टरी इन द वर्चुअल मशीन सो वी आर गोन रिव्यू द वी एम अ फ्यू टाइम्स so please be patient okay so the other thing is we are using one virtual machine for the active directory and the dns dscp while in the enterprise environment they prefer to have separate servers for the dns and for the active directory so here we are saving some resources and this is just a lab setup that's why we are using a vm for that okay so let's proceed just open the vm by workstation and i hope you still remember that the network we created in the first video at the time of workstation installation so this is the vm net 2 and the ip range allocated was 172.16.0.0 and both of these options are not used disabled we will prefer uh, adding the ips manually okay and we don't want to install the virtual adapter on the host machine if we are going to use the host machine as a storage or any other purpose then we can just add this option so in this way this virtual this host machine will also be in the same private network of your virtual machines so let's proceed just right click to the vm you would like to clone go to the manage click on clone next now it is asking us the snapshot we created a snapshot which includes the sysprev windows updates and the patches next now it is asking us which clone method should i choose now this is very important as far as your interview concerns this uh, question will be asked in your interviews then you should know the answer i'll spend a few minutes in explaining the linked and full clone methods okay so what is the linked clone a linked clone is a copy of the virtual machine that shares the virtual disk with the parent vm linked clone must have the continuous access of the parent vm without the access of the parent the linked clone will get disabled linked clone is made up from the snapshot of the parent all the files available on the parent at the moment of the snapshot will continue remain the same for the linked clone the linked clone lowers the barriers of creating a new virtual machine so you can easily create a unique virtual machine for each task you would like to have and it takes very few minutes to just create a linked clone and another benefit of the linked clone is that they they are easier to share if a group of the people need to access the same virtual disk then the people can easily pass around clones with reference to those virtual disk say for example a support team can reproduce a bug in the linked clone and then just email that link clone to the development team this is very feasible if you have a small virtual machine okay now what is full clone a full clone is the independent copy of the vm that shares nothing with the parent virtual machine once the operation is completed cloning operation is completed no shares with the parent virtual machine no relation with the parent virtual machine all the ongoing operation of the full clone is entirely separate from the parent vm so if you will delete the parent vm nothing will happen it is just a brand new virtual machine that what you clone overall performance of the full clone is same as a separate brand new virtual machine while the link clone has some performance degradation as it shares the virtual disk so if you are focused on a performance go for the full clone method now here we are using the link clone so let's proceed click on next give the vm name that is addc active directory and the domain controller small name finish now the clone will be created close just right click to the vm go to settings add the network adapter next custom vm net 2 okay finish uh, network card will be connected power on okay right click power start up the guest so it is asking us the basic questions so keep it default next accept the agreement next set the password 
I am keeping the same password everywhere just to avoid the confusion ok ok now the VM is started and just check the network go to the network sharing centers adapter settings right click properties IPv6 disable region 4 I have set the IP address that is 172.16.0.1255255250 and the DNS will be then uh, 172.16.0.1 okay okay done now set the host name for the VM change settings change ADDC ADDC okay now it will ask us for the reboot just close the start now Read name password so change settings change more only VMware dot local okay okay yes close restart now now we have set the IP address and the host name and the domain now let's install the DNS DSCP services so for that you can either go here go to the roles add role next DNS DSCP next 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 IP address perfect the domain name only VMware dot local next 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 disable DSCP 6 stateless mode install the installation is completed close Okay, DNS, DSCP, all set, DSCP, all green, fine. Just go to the DNS and right click configure a DNS, add the forward and reverse lookup zones. Yes, yes, zone name only VMware dot local. Next, next non secure and secure dynamic updates yes reverse lookup zone yes ip version 4 at the ip range 172.16.0 next next both next add yes add that is 172.16.0.1 it will now validate the settings so validation is done next it will check for the root hints if it gives uh, any error just ignore it and then add the DNS zone ok finish you might get the root hints error just ignore it ok it is done go to the forward lookup zone here and check if the uh, host A record is added same for the reverse lookup zone confirm if it is not there just add the pointer record that is for one and the host name is addc.onlyvmware.local ok all set so all seems ok for now and just add the host file entries just to avoid any DNS issues go to the C windows system 32 drivers etc host 172.16.0.1 addc.onlyvmware.local save just all ok just check what is the IP of the server IP config so IP is set so 
so try pinging the ADDC dot only VM where dot local so yes it is pinging so that's it for now now let's install the active directory just go to start run and type DC promo enter it will install the active directory services okay next next create a new domain in a new forest the domain name will be only vmware dot local next now it will find out a net bias name for that select the operating system next it will examine the DNS the DNS is already there for our new VMware dot local so we might get the error that the DNS already exists for the domain ok next resume ok uh, yes next type the password for the active directory next next now it is installing the group policies and the active directory domain service installation process is going on okay as i told you that the dns or zone already exists so no need to create just finish the process and restart now so active directory installation is completed just go start administrative tools here it is okay so the active directory administrative center is now showing us the domain so everywhere we would like to add the ad then we will use this name only vmware and the ad username and password so from here we can add the users we can add the groups okay see you in next video